Bible. Have... Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Yes. God the Father, yeah. God the Son, and God the Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise to the one who loved us so much that he came and died on the cross for the sin of mankind. That's right. He loved us so much that he gave us the solution. Man and woman mm. can spend eternity with God through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, praise be to God. Scripture tells us in the beginning, man and woman who were created in the image of God, they sin against God, they sin against one another. Separation between holy God and sinful mankind took place. Mm. And it is the same Bible tells us God gave us the solution. Yes. Give us the solution mm. how we can be in His presence forever and forever. Mm. Solution is identified as the Messiah. Yes. Solution is identified as the eternal Word of God. Yes, amen. Solution is identified as the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. And solution is that eternal Word of God. Yes. Messiah, yes. Lord Jesus Christ, yes. is going to die on the cross for the sin of mankind, mm. so that we can heal, we can heal, and image of God can be healed. Yes. We can stand in the presence of God through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ right. forever and forever. The work of Lord Jesus Christ on amen. the cross. Amen. 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 He deserves all the praises. Yes. He deserves all of us. Hallelujah. He is the eternal word of God. Yes. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and end. Yep. And he is also the Prince of Peace. Yes. He is the one who brings peace between man and God. Hallelujah. Also between man and man. Yes, yes, Without yes. Without yes. Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. we see there is no peace. No. We look at, around and we see people who do not worship the eternal word of God. Mm. We look around and we see people who do not love the eternal word of God, mm. who do not worship Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. and we see broken world. Mm. We see people kill one another week after week, day after day. And it was another heartbreaking day. We, 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 uh, we were witness what happened in Belgium, in Belgium. last week. Yes, that's right. So we're all familiar with what happened with Belgium just last week. Now, on Tuesday. Just on Tuesday. So now, as we're all familiar, we're in the so-called holy month of Ramadan. Some examples of right. what happened in Belgium. And so here we have, I'm sure you've been reading your tabloids and the newspapers. Here, three shot dead um, in terror attack. This is only this month. This is a time when Muslims are supposed to be fasting, apparently drawing closer to God, um, being more pious, being less self-indulgent, but they indulging in criminal activity. Um, they, here in this story we have um, a man called Benjamin Herman. Benjamin Herman was a man who went in, who's, uh, who's been in prison since 2003. And he was released for a couple of days. Oh, just about. Yes. He was in prison. While he was in prison, do you know what happened to him? What happened to him? He met with the book called Book of Peace. <laughs> he met with men yes. called Men of Peace. Yes, yes. And he is, it is identified as the Holy Book of Muslims. That's right. He started reading the Quran. Yep. He started understanding Muhammad. Yep. And the miracle happened yep. in prison. He decides to become a Muslim. A Muslim, yep. That's right. And so, he's been in prison since 2003, up until now. And so he's released on a two-day release. And within this time, in, Le in Liege, the city of Liege, in Belgium, he sees two police officers. He takes out a knife. 
He runs out behind them and he stabs them. They both fall to the ground. He then takes the guns out of their holsters and shoots them both dead, okay? As he does this, um, he's in and out of the cafe that was close by and he runs across the road. He shoots another 22 year old um, person who's driving, a te who's a teacher. And in the midst of this, he shouts out, Allahu Akbar. Allah, Allah, Allah Akbar. Now, if anyone is familiar with that term, it means that Allah is greater. So it's, a, it's, a, it's basically saying that God is greater than you. It's a term for supremacy uh, and superiority. And this is what this man did. He, sh he, the, 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 um, he kills two people, um, two police officers, another person running down the street, and then later on he kills a fourth person, all in the name of Allah. Oh. Yeah. So here's, here's the thing, here's the thing. Man who has some issues and he ends up in prison. Prison is supposed to be the place where rehabilitation takes place. Mm. But it seems prison becomes a place where people start reading this book. That's right. It is very, very dangerous book. Mm. It is this book called Quran yeah. allows and gives right to a Muslim yeah. who can give right to Muslim who can take the life of others yeah. without pulling of eye. That's it right. is disgraceful what happens to the people in prison. Yeah. But more disgraceful is thing is, so what do you hear when you hear the friends of Mark back? It's supposed to be the wonderful phrase. We used to hear it speakers called up by Muslims when they start calling the prayer. That's right. That's but right. What happens now with the phrase of Allah, the phrase of Allah Akbar, which takes us back to time of Muhammad? That's right. That's right. Biography of Muhammad, page 511. We read what Muhammad did when he screamed out. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. He got rid of the people. He right. took the life of the people yep. by saying Allahu Akbar. Yep. Should we read so, it? So, when we hear the phrase Allahu Akbar, yeah. what we see is Muslims are calling in their name of their God. That's right. That's right. That's right. And it is the same Muslims who is falling in love with this book goes out and to take the life of other individuals. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's and right. one of the interesting things we noticed is in Belgium killings, the killer met a Muslim. The girl was fasting because she was a Muslim and she was fasting. Killer did not do anything to her. Yeah. But two policemen yeah. and the trainer teacher, yeah. they didn't give the, any sign that they were Muslim. Yeah. What happened to them? Goodbye to the life. Yeah. Take the book called Quran yeah. and take the phrase called Allah Akbar. Right. Ramadan is the time where 1.84 million Muslims are seeking yeah. to come close to Allah. Mm. As people seek to come close to Allah, we will continue to see the life of innocent people or life of non-Muslims will be taken away from us. Mm. Maybe today it was in Belgium. Yeah. Two police women who you never met. But tomorrow it will be you or the person who you know who you love. Yeah. Because when yeah. And when people come close to Allah during the Ramadan, they will continue to see religions of Islam, mm. peace, 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 yep. which is identified the religions of peace, yeah. they continue to take the life of non-Muslims. Yep. It is unacceptable. That's right. It is right. unacceptable. Right. So, so here we have, we, now, what happens many times is that Muslims will say, surely this is a holy month of Ramadan. 
um, Muslims are not um, called or do not do these type of things. Now, if you look at the statistics, um, I'm not talking about, you can read from 2015, 2016, 2017 and even so far in 2018, you find there's still a lot of killings, there's a lot of um, attacks and people are getting murdered by the thousands and, what I'm, and I want to read you some of these statistics, is that okay? Yeah. Yep. So as Muslims are fasting, as they try to come close to God, yep. what we see is as they try to come close to God, they start reading this book again That's and right. again and again. 2018, it's only almost halfway of the Ramadan. Yes. It's only been 18 days for the Ramadan, yep. yet there are nearly 90 terror attacks done in the name of Islam. That's right. Nearly That's right. 90 terror attacks wow. by people who follow this book, by people who are falling in love with the teachings of Allah yep. and Muhammad. Yep. 90 terror attacks. Yep. And how many lives is that, brother? That's, according to statistics, 300 and 43 people dead in the name of Islam. This is what we have, and just like my sister was saying, you may say, oh, it happened in Westminster Bridge. Oh, it happened in London Bridge. Oh, it just happened in um, Belgium. It has nothing to do with me. But my friend, what you must understand is that it could happen to you at any day. It could happen to your loved one. It could happen to your um, neighbor. And it could happen in particularly in Ramadan. So you have to understand that, um, that these Muslims, it's not, they don't conjure this stuff up with their own anger or hatred for the West. But you must understand that everything derives from their prophet Muhammad. He set the example. He's their role model. And all these murders and killings derive from Allah's so-called revelation to Muhammad, the false prophet of Islam. So as soon as the book called Quran, yeah. as soon as people continue to worship this book, yeah. especially during the Ramadan, yeah. we will see more lives are taken away from us. That's right. Yes, today it was in Belgium, but tomorrow it will be you or it will be the person who you love. That's right. Because 1.84 Seeking to follow the teachings of Allah, mm. seeking to follow the teachings of Muhammad. That's right. And those teachings are dangerous for non Muslims. Yeah. Those people, those teachings are harming mankind. Yeah. Because 1.84 million Muslims, mm. as they follow these teachings, they will continue to take life, they will continue to take life, and they will continue to take life. Yeah. They want to be faithful Muslims. That's right. And teachings of the Quran does not give you right to live as a non-Muslim. Yes, 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 yes. Life is in danger, and our life is especially in danger while this book is out there, while people are practicing Ramadan by fasting, yet also by killing the non-Muslims. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's but right. there is a solution. Amen. There is a solution. Yes, yes. Without any shame, Muslims are asking why. Just open your eyes and look at the newspaper. Yeah. Today you don't need to travel to this world. Oh, he asked where, sir, 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 you asked the question, you said, where is this killing taking place? Have a good read, have a good, keep it. Yeah, read out loud for everyone. These killings are taking place in this world yes. because of this book. Yeah. These killings are taking place in this world because of this world, Muhammad. But there is a solution. Yes. There is a solution. Yes. And the solution is yeah. the Prince of Peace. Yes. 
Yes. yes. So yes. the is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He is his teaching. Yes. And all people love your enemies. Amen. It is his teaching. And all people give dignity and power to mankind. Yes. It is his teaching that he expressed the love while giving up all the glory. That's right. Coming and dying for right. this broken and simple mankind. Amen. Solution is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Solution is teachings of Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. And you must understand what Jesus teaches is respect for other human beings. Why? Because the Bible states that man was created in God's image and that men and women are equal. Life is important. Life is something that is valuable. Life is something that God puts high esteem onto. And we must understand that when uh, we compare the teachings of Muhammad with the teachings of Jesus, we find what Jesus taught. He said, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good to those who despitefully use you. See, Jesus Christ taught you to love so that you could uh, be, uh, he, he, he set the example so that you could be a replication of him here on earth. And today, this is our message to Muslims and to uh, everyone around. Turn away from this wicked, evil book called the Quran and the false prophet Muhammad. Turn to Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith. If you would put your faith in him and trust him, he's the answer, he's the solution for all of mankind. God bless. And his name is Lord Jesus. Jesus. The of Amen. And he is the one who gives eternal life yes. to all of you. Hallelujah. Who are seeking to have eternal life with Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So come back to the Prince of Peace. Yes, Lord. Come back to the life giver, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless. God bless.